Hello everybody, my name is Jillian and welcome to my channel, Glittered and Glued. So today is our final episode in the Halloween collaboration with Mandy's Place. So this is week five and I'm very sad to see it go. I've had a lot of fun participating in this particular co collaboration and um, so I'm really sad to see it go. But hang on to the end of the video because I have the giveaway that I have mentioned in my other videos and I'm going to talk about that. So um, let's go through the project for week five. But before we do that, um, I have to actually go through the second part of my project for week four. I completely forgot to film it. It had it sitting right there on my desk. I had the video edited and uploaded and looked over and there it was and it was too late because I was literally leaving the next day to go um, on a you know a small little vacation and so I did not have time to go back and redo it. So um, all I did actually was make a couple of, of embellishments. I, I can already have them packed up. But this one is just a little shaker card embellishment that I made with a cut apart from the Spellcast um, uh, paper pack that I have, the 6x6. Six six. And I just made a cute little, small little shaker card. I love shaker cards. I think they're cute. But I like using the little image behind it. And you can see it's the little cute little kitty cat. But And I just backed it on um, a piece of the of the paper from the spell cast and then I backed it on a 110 p 110 pound cardstock because I like you know I like my stuff to be firm and then uh, I had made a second embellishment for um, part of the giveaway because that'll go to my slot partner and so I'll show you that real quick and this was a look very very simple um, embellishment um, I actually used some uh, Tim Holtz paper from his Halloween paper pack to, um, and I just cut out a circle with a die cut and then um, I made a little paper rosette out of some of the um, you know crepe paper and then I cut some glitter paper right there if you can see it kind of glittering a little bit and then I took another cut apart and put it put it right there on top I just wanted a fun but kind of large embellishment that could be used on the cover of say a little mini album or whatever but those were actually what I was supposed to show you last week so I do apologize that I didn't get that in the video so let's go ahead and put these aside and I will show you my project for this week which is this cute little mini album so um I was totally inspired by Septaria 18 she has a video out and I'm going to try to link that in my video so you can see the full tutorial on it but it's pretty pretty easy pretty cut and dry um, I actually took um, she used an 8 by 12 piece of paper I used a 8 and a uh, 8 and a half I mean an 8 by 11 piece of paper or was it 8 and a half whatever and that's what I used for for mine and so I'll just show you kind of quickly um, what I did as I literally scored down the middle of the half half on that side and then half again on that side and then I cut right here on the long side and then that way you can bring your pocket up fold it up and you're gonna make a pocket right here and then here you have another a page and then the front cover so it'll make a little bit more sense when, let me show you this so here's my actual front cover now I did mine kind of reversed I wanted my pocket to be up front which you can see here's my pocket right here let's pull it from this way <clears throat> it's tight because again I used the 110 pound cardstock um, and then I added paint you know I layered the paper on top so here's a nice photo mat that I did with it again using the spell cast paper um, I really went through quite a bit of this paper, so I'm, I'm pleased, but I still have plenty more for other projects, so I'm going to be doing another one probably. I'll probably make one for myself. But that's a photo mat, and here's the cover, and all I did was embellish it just a little bit, very simply. This is actually the pattern paper from Spellcast, and I thought it was really cute, you know, the moon, and you got the little, you know, clouds and all that. And then I just kind of popped up some of the um, the stickers from Spellcast. And again, this this came from Tuesday morning, so it was a great bargain. And then I, I popped up the hat, 
And then, of course, I said this was my pocket here. This is right here if I can show you. This is where I put my pocket. Um, and then I used some cut aparts to make little tuck spots. And I took some paper and just made little photo mats or journaling mats, however you want to use them. Um, put a little sticker here from the <coughs> Spellcast sticker. And I did the same thing over here. Um, this one's my favorite piece of paper out of the whole pack. I just love it. It's It's got all the colors in it and you can just mat, mix and match it with pretty much anything. And then I made a small photo mat or journaling uh, card if you want to use it for a journaling card. And a little tuck spot right here. And then I add another little embellishment here and another sticker from the pack. And tuck that right in there. And then I made um, an, another another card here. And I just tucked in a couple of pieces of the uh, cut apart. Uh, just to add it in there. I thought they were really cute. I love the little kitty cat. As you can see, I used that for my, um, my little shaker card, which is cute. So, and, and I just tucked it right here. Made a little pocket right here. Um, put the kitty cat sticker and All Hallows Eve. And that is just really cute. And then over here, I just made a side tuck spot. Very simple. Made another little photo mat right here. Tucked it right in. And then last page is I left the back blank. Or just kind of, you know, not really embellished. But this is a nice solid, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm shaking you. This is a very solid photo album, so, or a little mini album. And I think it's really cute for, um, you know, Halloween. And of course, don't forget the little photo mat. So that is my project for, um, for the uh, final week of the collaboration. Again, very sad to see it go. It's, we've all had a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed watching everybody else's videos. Everyone has done a fantastic job. But let's get right on into the giveaway. So, um, as I mentioned in, I think, last week's video, um, that, that I would be doing a giveaway and I would be giving away um, a set of each of the projects that I'm going to be giving to my swap partner. So you will be getting that and you will be getting, the, you know, of course the winner. Um, I kind of went with some stuff, some, some of the stuff in my stash and I saw this pillowcase and I thought, okay, this would be cute because I have a, uh, quite a few little donut themed things and I had this cute little um, sprinkled pouch and I filled it with a couple of little items here. Let's go ahead and pull them out. I have a couple of washi tapes that I will be putting in the giveaway. Donut, um, yeah, yummy, foodie, tasty, cheesy, cute, just cute little washi tape. And then some donut and candy themed uh, stickers that I, again, had in my stash. I got these from Michael's. And then some little mini notepads, um, again, bubble gums and donuts and cupcakes and stuff like that. And I thought that re went really well together. So that set will be given away along with my other um, Halloween projects that I completed for, um, for the giveaway. So this is what you need to do in order to win the giveaway. So uh, a couple rules, uh, you must be 18 years of age or older because I will need your address. You must live in the USA, I'm not doing international right now. Um, you must comment on this video and let me know what your favorite project was from the five projects that I completed, actually six projects, but just let me know, just mention in the comment what your favorite project was. Um, and then you must do it by Friday, um, which is the 5th of October, by 11.59 uh, p.m. So you must be, you must have your comment entered in before then. And of course, um, you know, you're not required, but I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Let's see if I can make it look up. <laughs> a thumbs up on um, this video. And, and if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. And um, that's it. That's how simple the giveaway is going to be. Guys, I really had a wonderful time. 
doing these projects. I've got some more videos planned for other projects that I'm working on. So please check back. Um, I will have some cute things coming up, some more Halloween, and I am getting ready to do some Christmas projects. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, but guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks to all my original subscribers. Guys, this has been a blast, and I want to just say thank you so much, and y'all have a wonderful day.